want you to have a better life. I believe as we choose, we can have a better life. The better life that God wants you to have is paid with miracles. This is The Place for Miracles. Hi, everybody, and welcome to The Place for Miracles, and happy, happy Thanksgiving this week. This is the week of Thanksgiving, and I praise God for it. You know, it was Abraham Lincoln, President of the United States, who declared the fourth Thursday of every November to be a day of thanksgiving and praise unto God. And so we give honor and we give glory to God. And I know that this week families will be joining uh, together all over this nation, giving thanks unto God, having a Thanksgiving meal together. You know, a lot of things going on this weekend. Families are coming together and praise God for that. So we wish you a very, very, very happy Thanksgiving. And Lindsay and I have a special Thanksgiving word and a number of scriptures to give you in just a few minutes from now. Uh, Verona is in Douglasville, Georgia, and call concerning her son, Andrew, who'd been diagnosed with melanoma cancer. And uh, uh, she got some healing uh, anointing oil that I'd sent her as well as a prayer cloth. And, and she said, now uh, the doctors can find no more cancer cells in Andrew's body. He is well. And we praise God for it. If you've been diagnosed with any type of cancer, in the authority of the name of Jesus, I set my faith with you now. I come against this cancer and I pray for healing from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I've got a tremendous cancer testimony to share with you in just a few moments. Uh, Diane is out in North Carolina and called for prayer. The doctor said she's going to have to have one of her feet amputated. And so we went to prayer immediately for her. She said, thank you for your prayers. And I got your book on healing, uh, Healing Jesus, which I'll share about that too. She said, I still have my foot. It was not amputated. And I'm continuing to believe for the rest of my healing. Well, Diane, I'm setting my faith with you right now in Jesus' mighty name. Many that Jesus healed were healed as they went. And I'm expecting that to happen uh, to you, Diane, in Jesus' name. Brent is up in... Uh, Buffalo, New York, and call for prayer. Sciatica pain down his hip and leg. Richard, after you prayed, after your prayer partners prayed, I no longer have any sciatica pain. You know, uh, sciatica pain uh, bothers a lot of people. It's pain that shoots down the hip, down the back of the leg. And right now in the authority of the name of Jesus, I come against this satanic attack. If that's you, if you have sciatica, in Jesus' name, I curse it. And I speak to it right now, and I pray and believe God for it to be healed in the authority of Jesus' name. And according to Psalm 107, verse 20, which says, He sent His word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. According to that, I send that word to you. And I believe God for a miracle. Praise God, praise God, praise God. What a wonderful week, Thanksgiving week, a time to give praise, to give thanks, and to give honor unto the Lord. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks unto the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks unto the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. And and now, let the weak say, I am strong, and let the poor say, I am rich, because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. And Father, we give you praise, thanks, honor, and glory, for you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. 
in Jesus' name. And if you need special prayer today, this week, Thanksgiving week, call us at the Abundant Life Prayer Group. You see our prayer partners, they're here ready to receive your call, 918-495-7777. Hallelujah. Give praise to the Lord as Jordan sings. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when the evening comes. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship Him. of the holiday season with our exclusive holiday box. Get all cozied up with our Make Your Day Count mug, the perfect companion for fireside relaxation. Embark on a heartwarming journey through Lindsay Roberts' book, Read, Pray, and Then Obey, Volumes 1 and 2, where you can dive into the comfort of God's Word right from your home. And don't worry about losing your place. Our lovely bookmark has you covered. Create heartwarming holiday memories with our special recipe cards. Perfect for sharing those cherished family meal traditions and secret ingredients. Stay organized during the holiday hustle with our trusty notepad. And when it's time to treat yourself, indulge in our delectable chocolates and premium coffee, adding a sweet touch to your holiday. Our holiday box is packed with love and care, ready for you to create unforgettable moments with your loved ones. Call 1-844-828-1412 or go online to makeyourdaycount.com. God wants to heal. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's no respecter of persons. Maggie Johnson has a story to share, a personal testimony of faith and healing that has transformed her life. It started with a trip to the doctor's office. What was supposed to be an annual exam turned into a frightening diagnosis, breast cancer. I was diagnosed in uh, December. 
um, and with stage one, early uh, stage one, and um, of course I, I was shocked. I was just, I was just shocked. Even after hearing this news, Maggie's faith never wavered. But I knew one thing, I knew that God was gonna heal me. I, from the very beginning, I knew God was gonna heal me. Next, she began to put her faith into action and called on those around her to help. Once we found out, I, I didn't go out and tell everybody. I talked to my pastors, um, I talked to my friend in Oklahoma, and I talked to um, a couple other people that I knew believed in healing, and, and, that, and they were my family, and people just be, began to pray. The breast cancer specialist gave Maggie two options to consider. Either having a mastectomy or a lumpectomy. So um, I, I, I waited before making a decision um, till I felt the confidence or the peace in my heart about, about what the decision would be. And I chose to have the lumpectomy. And um, it was um, not that big of a deal. I was only out of work for a few days. and. Um, and I thought, this is great, you know, I, I went back to work and I went back for my follow-up visit and um, the follow-up visit revealed that some of the tissue that they had removed uh, for tests during the uh, surgery still contained what they call in situ carcinoma, which is pre, like a pre, they don't call it pre-cancer, it is, it's what it is before it begins to become uh, invasive, which is where it, it begins to spread. So they still found some more in situ cells. She went and sought a second opinion from another doctor. And he did, um, he did x-rays, he did, he looked at all of the x-rays that had already been done and all of the tests and read all of the surgical reports and he recommended, uh, he confirmed what the breast cancer specialist said that I should have um, a mastectomy. It was then that Maggie heard about the Abundant Life prayer group from a friend and made the phone call. I felt the power of God through the phone. When they prayed with me, I, I was just, I, I knew God was there in that prayer and we agreed together. She also began to watch Richard and Lindsay's show, The Place for Miracles. Now, I don't think there are any coincidences with the Lord. One night I was watching, I was, um, you know, with the remote trying to find something to watch. And I saw Richard and Lindsay Roberts' Hour of Healing. I thought, oh, I've, that's, I'd never noticed that before. And I turned it on and I started to watch it. And I was hooked. After the surgery was done, she waited to hear from the cancer specialist. And she said, I have good news for you. She said, all of the cancer is gone. We didn't, there isn't anything left. And so I was so happy. <laughs> I was praising God. Without a doubt, Maggie knows that her faith helped her win this battle against breast cancer. And I was fine. I was fine. I went to work every day. I worked hard. I mean, he, God just carried me through the whole thing uh, with, his, with His grace. And, and that's what, to me, that's what grace is. She's also grateful for the Abundant Life prayer group and for everything that Richard and Lindsay did to inspire her along the way. And when I needed agreement, and it, and it was just me, I would call them. And I would call them on my way home from work. I would call them on my lunch break, you know? And they pray the Word of God. They always pray the Word of God. And they pray with the Spirit of God, just, you know, just flowing through them. It's really awesome. When he's praying for the sick, and, and you know, and I felt him uh, and heard him speak directly to breast cancer. I mean, he, there were nights that he talked directly and spoke directly to breast cancer. Anyone who has a diagnosis of cancer, whether it be cancer in the bone, uh, cancer in the tissue, cancer in the breast, cancer in the brain, cancer in the blood, no matter what it is, I rebuke every trace of it from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet in the authority of Jesus' mighty name. Every outlaw cell, come out, I call you out in the name of Jesus. And I put my hand up and I received that um, and knew in my heart that, that that healing belonged to me. That was mine. This is mine, you know. This is mine, Lord, and I received that by faith. And, uh, and, and yes, absolutely. Um, there's so much power coming out of that uh, program. I mean, it, I don't know how to explain it. You, could, you just know. 
you know, so many people are being blessed by that. Oh, what a wonderful testimony, Lindsay. Healed of breast cancer. Praise God. Amen. amen you know, if you and need amen. prayer, like Maggie needed prayer, the Abundant Life Prayer Group is ready right now to receive your call, 918-495-7777. Lindsay, a lot of things going on this week. A, uh, one a thing great that, week to give thanks. Uh, uh, some, some exciting news. Uh, our programs... Uh, both uh, The Place for Miracles and Lindsay's program, Make Your Day Count, which she hosts along with Melissa Lee, can now be seen on Direct TV. Woohoo! The new Faith Network, which just went on a couple of weeks ago, uh -huh. Thank is you, now Jesus. carrying both of the programs. That's If you have Direct TV in your home, it's channel 379. That's channel right. 379 on Direct TV now has the this program as well as Lindsay's program. And uh -huh. Lindsay, you have some special programming this week uh, concerning uh, you and Melissa on Make Your Day Count, and that can be seen on our That's regular right. channels as well as Victory, as well as our new network, the mm -hmm. Healing Network. You want to share about that? We have been having so much expansion. It's a little bit hard to keep up, to say the least, but it's kind of like one of those exciting problems to have. Like it's exciting that so much is changing, so much is being transformed. And to be honest with you, we're making such headway into moving forward into new stations, new programming on the new Healing Network. You can find it, uh, thehealingnetwork.com. On that, we've got all kinds of new programming like Bookmark. And throughout Thanksgiving, we're, we've got all kinds of Thanksgiving program. But one thing that I think is super amazing is being able to turn it on on Thursdays and you'll be able to listen to prayers. Now, pretty much most every Thursday it's live. Sometimes we have had to tape it because a certain somebody goes out of town or does something like that. But mostly it's live. <laughs> excuse me. But we it's mostly live and it is healing prayers. You can call in. And we have had so many healing testimonies. Wow, what a wonderful opportunity to just sit there for 30 minutes and praise God and pray and expect a miracle. So we encourage you, go to thehealingnetwork.com. We've also got Bookmark, a new program that Melissa Lee and I do, and it's a lot of fun. We have been taking Christian material and important uh, uh, subject matter and many times we've been able to get the author to come and do Skype or Zoom interviews with us. And we have had so much fun doing that. Now, we are also in the Make Your Day Count kitchen this week. I can't guarantee whether or not you really would um, be able to use the recipe Fire alert, not, fire alert. But, but you might have a really good time looking at it and laughing. So we've got that coming for Thanksgiving week and lots of fun programming. So we invite you go to the Healing Network. Dot com, go to makeyourdaycount.com or make it real simple. Go on our ministry website, richardroberts.org. You will see all the new things, new programming, lots of new channels, lots of new all kinds of things. And I praise God for expansion. Praise God. You know, Lindsay, um, there are a lot of people that are gathering together with families this mm -hmm. week. Our family will be together <coughs> Correct. on Thanksgiving Day. And uh, it's a wonderful time to get together and give praise and give yep. honor and give thanks unto God. And I sang that song earlier, give thanks yes. with a grateful heart. Give thanks unto the, to the Holy, Holy One. One. Give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ his son. Thank God. I know you have some scriptures you want to share. Would you do that right now? So my ABCs of thankfulness, let me show you what we put together. Because sometimes when you're in the middle of wonderful things, it's easy to go, thank you, Jesus, praise the Lord. Sometimes when you're in the middle of, let's just say crisis mode or something like that, maybe thinking, okay, what do I do? What do I say? I had a friend the other day, I said, just start saying, praise the Lord. Just say, praise the Lord. And they're like, well, what about, I said, start with praise the Lord. And they started with praise the Lord. And then they went on to thank you, Jesus. And it just kept expanding. So we put together mm -hmm. something. It's called my ABCs of thankfulness. Now, let me tell you what you can do. You can download this. It's just go to our ministry website, richardroberts.org and go to the bookstore. There's a lot of different things there that you can download. This thing is free and I'm very happy to tell you, but I want to show you something about it. Are there that many scriptures about something I can be thankful for? Um, oh my goodness. Yes. yes. A, for abundant life. The thief comes uh, not but to steal, kill, and to destroy. But I have come, meaning Jesus, yeah. that you might have life and have it more yeah, abundantly, that's, John 10, That's 10. John 10, 10, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was my dad, Earl Roberts' most oh, favorite scripture. My, he yes, loved that scripture, was. John 10, 10. Third John 2 and John 10, 10. I have so many Bibles of your dad's that 
that someone has, you know, called us up and said, Oral, sign my Bible and I want to send it to you. And I'm like, uh, yes, thank you very much. <laughs> and it would come and, and it would either have 3 John 2 or John 10, 10. It You've would got, mean so much You to just us. got one of his Bibles that was in, he had made especially the, with extra large print. I, I think he was that, in his 80s. I think in heaven right now, your dad is going, Richard, and your mother's going, Richard. <laughs> so what happened was... We had done this beautiful Oral Roberts Bible and it really was lovely. And, and you know, we just, we love every minute of doing that with your dad, but your dad's eyesight was not exactly what he wanted it to be when he read that smaller print. So he said, make me a new Testament. And we did. <laughs> I can't even say it out loud. That's pretty big. He's <laughs> got like seven words on one page. <laughs> well, the, the New Testament is the size of the entire what? Bible. You would have never known it. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you got it. I, someone gave it to me the other day, and I treasured it. It's a one of a kind because it's the Bible that he it's wanted to room. preach out. It's in my living room as we speak. But I, I just I just feel your father right now up in heaven going, Richard. It's a it's an it is a full size Bible. Oh he started it, not me. It's a full size Bible, but it has only the New Testament in it. <laughs> it's big print. You open it up and you go, well how about that? <laughs> you can read it from and Iowa. People have asked me there, are there any more? Can we get these? Um, no. no. <laughs> B bountiful blessings. I will sing to the Lord because he has blessed me so richly. Yes. C, confident faith. And this says, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him, Jesus Christ. D, delight in God's word. I delight to do your will, O God. Your law is within my heart. E, here we go, everlasting, eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believed in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. F, favor. For whoever finds me in life obtains favor from the Lord, mm. Proverbs 8, That's 35. Good. And it goes on and on. I want to encourage you, get yours. Go to richardroberts.org. It's a free PDF. It's downloadable. I may have made that word up. No, it's but good. all you have to do is go to richardroberts.org slash bookstore, and we would love to give you this. You can print it. It's free. Download it yourself, and there you go. And it's got... Uh, my ABCs of thankfulness. Can I make a suggestion? Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Make a, yes, make a, a suggestion to you. When can. you download it, uh, get, get a hold of some thick paper. Uh, this is on cardstock. Cardstock. This is thick paper. It, it's better than 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 thin paper. It, it'll well, hold up thin better. is fine, but this, but this is it's just, this is nice. I'll tell you what I like to do with mine. I am. Anybody who knows me knows I like to put stuff on my refrigerator, and this is very refrigerator worthy, where you can even put it on your mirror and say, okay, let's just pick one, joy, and pick increase. The Lord shall increase you more and more. You and your children. Is that in the Bible? Yeah, Psalm 115, 14. So I want to encourage you to do that. Get the Word of God in front of you. And if you pick one, the name of Jesus. Therefore, God has exalted Jesus and given him a name, which is above every name named in heaven and earth. And the rest of that scripture says, and that that name, every other knee is supposed to bow. So thank you, Jesus, for that. And just begin to go all the way through the scriptures. And you know, even like I said, pick one and just begin to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. This is a time to give God thanks, to give him praise. You may be in the middle of a situation saying, well, I don't know if I have anything to be thankful for. You know what? Thank, be thankful for Jesus going to the cross. Be thankful that God, our Father, calls himself El Elyon, the most high God, but he also calls himself Abba, which means Daddy God, which means the most personal God like our Amen. Papa Father. And just begin today to give God thanks. Lindsay, I'm still sending prayer videos to people when they request it. Good. And I sent one to Gary out in Lake Butler, Florida because uh, he was suffering with a breathing problem and bronchitis. He just uh, called to say, thank you so much for that prayer video. I am completely healed from bronchitis. I woke up the next morning, the bronchitis was completely gone. Praise the Lord. And then also, uh, 
Linda out in Fresno, California, her kidney numbers were very high. Mm. And so she called the prayer group for prayer. That's 918-495-7777. And she said, thank you. I went back to my doctor. It's back down into the normal range Praise now. The Praise Lord. God. Praise God. Father, in the, the authority Lord. of Jesus' name, I thank you for these many healing testimonies. And if you have a need of healing today, in the authority of Jesus' name, Lindsay and I set our faith together. Now, the Bible clearly says one can put a thousand to flight, but two can put 10,000 to flight. So she and I join our faith together for you. In Jesus' name, I rebuke every sickness, every yes. disease, anything that's unlike God that's tried to come against you. I rebuke it now in the name of Jesus. And I pray for healing from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I also pray over our great country, over the United States of America. I pray over our president, our vice president, members of our Supreme Court, our senators, our congressmen, our governors, our mayors, all elected officials. I pray that you would make yourself known real to them and they would follow your will in this nation and that America will be raised up uh, with, with the power of God. And I thank God for that. I pray over all of our military, our Air Force, our, our Navy, our, our Army, our Marines, our Coast Guard, all those in service to our nation and all those civil servants working, our firemen, our policemen, and all those working, our first responders. Thank God for each of them, and we remember them on this Thanksgiving week, and we praise God for healing in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Give thanks with a grateful heart, and that's what we're doing on this Thanksgiving Day. Remember, give, be sure and be giving thanks on Thanksgiving Day. That's what it's all about. It's not just about turkey and football. Yes, that's fine, but, but the, the important thing is President Lincoln said this, that we are to give thanks and praise to unto God, to God. our beneficent Father who, who dwelleth, dwelleth in, in the, the heavens. heavens. That's what he said mm -hmm. in his proclamation back right. in the 1860s. Yep. So how I thank God and give him praise for that. Lindsay, one of the... Uh, testimonies I read was a woman who had gotten my book on healing. Mm -hmm. And I thought this week it might be good to offer that book again on, on our program. Wonderful. If you've never gotten a copy of my book, He's a Healing Jesus, then I'd like uh, to, to sow it into your life this week. For any gift you sow into this ministry, I'll give this book to you as well as, and this was your idea, the bonus of giving the little booklet, yep. Oral Roberts' favorite healing scriptures. My dad had a number of scriptures that he really loved. Of course, John, loved them all, John 10, 10 and, and 3 John 2 were two ones. of his favorites, but he has a lot of favorites. And I'll, I'll add this to it as a special bonus this month. So just call that, that toll-free number, 844-828-1412. That's 844-828-1412 or uh, go to richardroberts.org slash bookstore and get He's a Healing Jesus. That's the book the woman was talking about as well as Oral Roberts' favorite healing scriptures. I pray and believe it will be a blessing in your life. And Lindsay, happy Thanksgiving to you and our daughters as we join together this week as people do all across America. And we just thank God for you as not only as our partners, but just for you today as you're watching this. As you're watching this, I want you to know that we appreciate you. We appreciate you. And we just want to say thank you for tuning in this program. Thank you for being a part of this program. Thank you for being a part of our ministry. And most of all, I pray for God to bless it back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. I pray you have a blessed, thankful day today. In Jesus' name, amen. Happy Thanksgiving. God bless.